Also, I'm still really bummed out that we lost our Vestal, so I'm gonna have to look for a replacement one. Hey, a nice temple, Sira. Who is Sira C? Actually, you know what? Let me look her up right now. Is this a waifu? Let me see, Sissy. Oh, she's kinda cute. Ah, oh, her April Fool's art is so adorable. Ah, oh, that's so adorable, wait, wait. That's- the pig is so adorable. <laughs> Aww. I really like a lot of the April Fool's art in, uh, uh, in FGL. Like, they're all pretty, pretty funny. That are just, like, outright adorable. <laughs> I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. They're pretty good. Yeah, uh, no, uh, Nobu's April Fool's is pretty neat as well. Also, I like the I, I like the Merlin one. <laughs> he just gets his face kicked in by Fu. Glorious. But anyways, we we got a problem there. We gotta fight the Shrieker again. And we all remember what happened last time. I couldn't DPS it down fast enough. Actually, let me double check. Like, what did the Shrieker have? I, uh, I'll use the excuse that I fought it one time already, so... Because I know it has some stress stuff. It has ridiculous dodge and everything. But, let me see, Shrieker, uh, oh wait, there, there's different, oh, it ha I didn't realize you can fight the Shrieker early. Cause there's, there's an apprentice level for this. Huh. I did not know that. Actually, what triggers the... Is it, uh, what triggers the Shrieker boss? Is it just random? Eh. Well, let me see. There's just stress, stress, accuracy, debuff. Bleed. Oh yeah, 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 the peck bleeds, right, right. Yeah, so basically just stress and bleeding, pretty much. Alright, not, not bad. So, I still believe that at least we really need to keep a Jester in the party, despite... Despite having, uh, to deal with... One less DPS in the party. Actually, wait a second. Uh, I remember someone mentioning using the Occultist as a good alternative to... Uh... Oh, right, right, because you can minus dodge. Yeah, you can just minus dodge and then use a marking team. Actually, you know what? I, I should go do that. Uh, where, where are the rest of my uh, Occultists? I know I had a level 6 somewhere, right? Oh, right. Ice Green's being treated because he has a lot of diseases and other stuff I need, that need fixing up. Okay. So then, we will need... We will need uh, our Jester. We'll also need... Our occultist, because the shrieker doesn't have protection. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, I think we need to go back up. How about... How about we bring in Kagali, maybe? Because we also have, uh... Not that one. An equip... Sort... Uh... Honey Hunter... Yeah... So... We can pretty much just keep doing more damage versus... Marked and bleeding enemies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, you know what? Let me let me mute the mic real quick. Okay. Actually, wait. This one does more damage versus stunned. Hmm. Actually, wait. What's the stun? What's the stun rate on on the shrieker? I forget. Uh. Shrieker, 100% chance to resist stuns, so that's a pretty high rate. Let's see, do I want a marking team? How about, do we need a, or can we do a marking team with this? No, it, no, it'll take too long for it to set. Actually, wait, hold on, what about the shield breaker items? Light. Wait, where's our other... Oh, wait, was it one of the... Oh, wait, was one of the shield breaker items stolen? Oh, one of our shield breaker items got... Oh, yeah, wait. A ton of our shield breaker items got stolen. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot what the next part of the set is for this. Let me see. Because maybe... Maybe I can use... Uh, patchy here. All oh, right. Uh, mercurial. All oh, right. I wanted to get rid of this because you know, Bladrons have low base damage. Being able to crit would be quite nice. Mm. How about my healing received more damage versus marked. Do we have anything for Highwaymen? Crit Accuracy. Crit Accuracy, Damage and Accuracy versus Marked. No, I think I should... Oh, no, no, I can't dump any more onto this. Actually, let me see. Accuracy and Speed. Damage, Accuracy versus Marked. Crit. Stress relief, not important. This one's not important. Hmm. Is there anything else? Protection, move resist, no. Speed and flight resist. Thing. Six. Huh, you have really high speed. How about extra speed for the occultist? Because at this point, if I take this team, this occultist not is not going to outspeed fast enough. Hmm. Extra damage and minus points. I don't want to subtract speed. Don't need those heavy boots. Though I don't know what else. Virtue chance. Bleed resist. Cause I don't know peck bleeds, but everyone has a decent resistance rate already. Though what do I put on you? There's nothing else that's really too great. Unless I want to say screwed and put both the uh, 
these two on here for a 53% stress stress skill buff. And then after this, we can do... Margin accurate. Bleed and disease. Mm. Actually, wait. Accuracy and crit. Accuracy and crit. Range skill up. Extra speed so that we can apply marks and everything before these two go up. So then the Jester should should be able to go first, apply the buffs, and then afterwards the Occultist should be able to apply marks with hopefully good consistency with the Ancestor's Pistol. The extra speed from these two, and then these two will come up next. I don't think we need point blank. And I think that the Grape Shot Blast is a bit... I think it might be a waste of time if I go for that. Let me see. Damage and Protection, Sacrificial Stab, Demon's Pool... Uh... Nah, I think I'll keep it like this. Alright, so I think I'll take this team. Um, level 3 bounty hunter, steady. Our noggin. Mm, not worth it. Right, let me check this team. Is everyone skilled up properly? So we got uppercut here. No, uppercut my screw screw me a bit no one can stun though unless I use hand from the abyss oh actually oh uh, that could work that could work put in position two and then go stunning after marking and because the higher speed, we can hopefully apply this and maybe use finish him instead of an uppercut here because we don't want to knock back. I want to avoid knocking it back because I don't, because uh, the other skills only hit position 2 and 1 here. No, I'm not changing you. The finale. So I gotta remember to do this or to go forward once we get. What was it? Um, wait, what was it again? Once we get to turn three and when turn four rolls over, I have to be in front by then. That's my only chance. So I think I'll. I think I'll make the lineup like this. Is there a difference if I the lineup like this all the way in the back? Not really. Oh, a grape shot blast cannot be used. Uh, but do I need grape shot blast? Or would open vein be a good choice here? Because I know we got accuracy and crit, especially if we use extra mark skills, but mm, no, nah, no, nah, I don't, I don't think we're. Although mm, we could do bleeding. We could do bleeding for for one skill. So if I'm gonna do this, 
Did I change? Oh wait, it doesn't finale. Oh right, finale is considered melee. We could put on the ancestor's pen. And then... Maybe the Callous Talon for extra crit. Because we don't have our lucky dice anymore. Let me think. So then... Hmm... Hey guys, Pacho! How are you? The more you see people play Epic Battle Fantasy V, the more you pity people playing Epic Mode blindly. <laughs> uh, I can, I can see that. I, I played EBF3 all the way through on Epic and it was just a bunch of BS. <laughs> or like, some bosses in particular were a little bit too BS. I'm looking at the stupid mammoth. Final boss, of course. Casually summoning up the one pillar thing that insta wipes your whole party, even with defense buffs. Oh my god. I still haven't. I, I remember did a bit of Epic Battle Fantasy 4 and Epic, but I never went through the whole game. But there's still some pretty tough fights. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, uh, let me see. I want you one P. No, then you'll lose your ability. Okay, so I think I think this will do it. Yes, I understand that I cannot retreat. We don't, oh, we don't need anything really. Uh. I know we might need a bit of this, because the peck bleeds. Remember that accuracy debuff. Maybe just three of these. Mm, do we need... No, we don't need holy water. On oh, no, um, not really. Aegis scales? Mm, just in case for those panic moments. So double checking. From hither, mark for death. And use caltrops. Although caltrops would be nice. Hmm. Let me see. What was that, guys? There's a secret boss that's just three enemies insta killing you every turn. They don't have much health, but they always hit and do five times your max health. And that's considered an easy fight compared to the final boss? Jesus! <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot to buy the stun thing. Because we're actually gonna use this now. Also, did I have a thing for my... Oh, no, no, I sold it. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, when am I ever going to use, use like, this thing? Well, here I am now. I am a dummy. <clears throat> Oops. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong one, wrong one. And take two of these, just in case. <clears throat> we got our marking team ready. Oh yeah, maybe I should turn down the torch by one level, so... Actually no, can I even turn down the torch manually during a fight? Hmm. Let's see, Infern was healing received. Uh, I need tracking shot. I don't think I'll be doing duelist advance. I guess I can use this on turn one. Yeah, I can use this on turn one. 
while the occultist so the occultist will mark tracking shot or oh, no, no so buff mark track and then collect bounty probably and then turn two depending on what happens probably stun if at all possible so then So accuracy for a second time, stun, and then after tracking shot, pistol shot. Uh, I don't think we'll be bothering with grape shot because we we don't have much time. Then collect bounty and repeat. So I think that'll be the cycle. Uh, kind of worried, but let's try it out. Okay. Reaker, attempt number two. I need to get my stuff back. And if I don't have time to heal people, I'm gonna just have to use my Aegis shields. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Was the Shrieker's Nest always in front? Oh no, I'm gonna have to... Oh boy, this was not what I was expecting. I forgot about the Shrieker's Nest being in front. Well... Still gonna stick with the plan because we need to subtract the dodge from here, if possible. The decisive pummeling. Okay, so by the time it's round three. Oh wait, it moves he moves up for us. Oh right, right. Nice. Reeling. Ah, creeping cop. Oh wait, what's I don't know, don't tell me creeping cop's a bad uh Son of a bitch. It's minus twenty percent damage. Just when we're fighting this boss, why can't it be minus HP? Okay, so one more turn of this, and next turn we're going in. The blood quickens. So either we can stun, or go for- no, that hit is so bad accuracy-wise. Uh, but then again, I do just have to go for it. Unless I can stun and remove one turn of BS. Because it has a higher chance of hitting compared to this. Because keep in mind we have Ancestor's Pistol to increase accuracy from Hands of the Abyss, or from the Abyss. And it has a higher crit rate. No, no, the crit rate's the same. Uh, I think I'll go for the stun. Precision and power. Alright, we can do... Actually, wait, what's... Oh, wait. Oh, right, he removes his mark. Because three turns have passed already. Oh, I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that the turns go by super fast because of this. Yeah, I'm gonna do F all here. So since I can't do much damage uh, as this isn't marked anymore, maybe I should Grape Shot. Because I should be able to get a turn in quick enough. Actually, no, wait. No, no, it has 9 speed. Actually, wait. Oh, no, no, our speed's quick enough. So we should be able to get one round in of increased receive crits. Mm. 5 to 9. 
Mm, actually, nah, nah, that's not worth it. Fuck. That's not good. Well, I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, we need a mark again. No crits. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Mm. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. I was gonna get another disease, Jesus. Thank you. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virgin. So we didn't get extra stuff because of not because we didn't get the Shrieker's Nest. Oh well, we got it though. Oh, it did take my crescendo box. I thought I lost it to the void in the farmstead. Yeah, we're like, look at this. It did take like one, two, three, four, five, six. It took six of our shield breaker items. Like, are you kidding me? Six of our shield breaker items. Evasive. Hmm. We lose our turn one priority for five dodge. I don't like that. Extra dodge and move resist. Mm. And and this is the uh, the special quirk from the Shrieker. This is the same one that we got on someone else already. I don't ho was hanging out or the. I was kind of hoping we got a different one. Gifted, replace Warrior of Light. Extra healing received. Oh, uh, oh wait. Actually, that's pretty nice. I might want to lock that in. Actually, 